and welcome back to Pixelmon Ranger, where we are traveling the world of Pokemon, discovering all of the different biomes and the Pokemon that we can find, and doing what we can to research the different ecology and biology of this amazing world. And you guys, you guys, I have a really exciting surprise to show you. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting, so exciting, so exciting. So I was on my way home last night, just walking up the path, up the little path right there, and minding my own business, and all of a sudden, a level 20 Pidgey just was like, ka ha ka ha Pidgey, 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 and it attacked us, and I was like, ah, Daisy Leaf, just smack it with your, your leaves, and so Daisy Leaf just kind of whacked him, and the Pidgey fainted, and then, and then, oh, not Daisy Leaf, excuse me, Ash Leaf, Ash Leaf, a Ashleaf evolved into Magnium, and everyone says I say that wrong, and I apologize. It just makes sense. I look at the word, and I'm like, Magnium. So now, you guys, and we'll see, Ashleaf might be able to teach me how to say this properly, but... <gasps> look at him! I'm so proud! Look at him! Oh, he's grown! He's a big boy now! Look at him! Oh, look at you! Are you going to say anything? Are you going to say anything? Look at the beautiful, beautiful leaves. Oh, there's a... <laughs> there's a wild Pikachu just coming to bug us. All right, and he has also learned a new ability of Petal Dance. And it's supposed to be really powerful. And has... Wow! Okay. That 29... Level 29 Pikachu is now gone. And we have some Glowstone Dust. Um, wow. That didn't take much. Holy days, Ashleaf. You're so strong! Are you guys say anything? No. He's not saying anything. He's become very serious in his, in his adult stage, but I can't believe our little baby is all grown up. And that means that we need to go, and we need to go catch another Chikorita, or another, another Bayleaf, or another Magnium, so that he can have a mate of his own. And a herd! He needs a whole herd. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a beautiful, like, flower field, plains area, where we can have all of these glorious ones just roaming across. Because apparently what they like to do is they like to roam through the plains. Uh, in, in groups. They tend to stay in groups. And they tend to have even some of the smaller Pokemon, the other types of Pokemon varieties, just kind of stick with them. Because you're not really going to mess with the large Pokemon like this. Though, I'm kind of curious. One second, Ashleaf. Ashleaf, let's see. Powers up Grass-type moves when the Pokemon is in trouble. That's really cool. And he's actually a giant. Oh my gosh, with a rash nature. Yeah, that sounds like you, Ashleaf. That sounds like you indeed. But I'm so excited. So this was completely unexpected. Just happened. I'll leave him out. He looks so solemn and serious now. Look at our little boy. All grown up. All grown up. Well, that's very exciting. I'm going to come over here. <gasps> Ooh, the cotton. The cotton is slowly not quite ready. Not quite ready, but it's getting there. There we go. And we've got bamboo shoots. So I'm actually going to start a bigger bamboo garden over here. Um, oh, goodness, Ashley, if you're so quiet, I didn't know you followed me over here. I'm just snagging some soybeans so that I can make uh, some soybean stuff. Oh, Meep, Meep is making noise. Look, look, Meep, we can hear Meep talking to himself over there. Meep is so cute. But yeah, so I'm going to plant more coffee beans too so we can keep giving the mayor her coffee. Uh, it looks like, argh, it looks like we had somebody jump on top of our plant there. So we're going to replant the cabbage. Um, you going to say anything, boy? Nope. And actually, I think that Rise will actually take the chili pepper. Do you want some chili peppers? Oh, he's so serious now. I kind of, I hope he, I hope he feels okay to talk to me. Like he's much more serious than usual. Hmm. But today we actually need to work on putting away a whole bunch of the stuff that we brought home from our big grand adventure. So I'm going to shove all this stuff in here. And then, oh yeah, we've got new decorative things, new decorative pieces to put all over our tree, you guys. In fact, I want to put some of these inside, like the butterfly orchid. Boom. And look at these beautiful lamps. I love these lamps. I'm so glad we have them. And I want the king orchid. Boom! Look at now. I have a little, I have a little orchid pathway to walk under. Oh, that's so fun! Oh, hey, Ashley, careful! Here, on, on in you go. It's a little bit cramped in here for you, buddy. He's so serious now, so quiet. 
Yeah, I can put my artist conch right there. And then I'm gonna put some moss there, and some moss there, and some moss there. <gasps> Decorating my house with moss is the best thing ever. I'm gonna have to go get more of that. Oh, that's so, oh, it's turning into a beautiful home, you guys. Beautiful home. So then I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna put this here, and this here. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Look at this greenery. Yep, that's how you make a happy Siri. And then let's see. These bushes are going to go to the Oddish, or the Oddish Grotto. And Grotto even. Um, I think I'll plant that blackberry seed somewhere. And hang on, Ashley, if I'm going to be out there in a minute. And then let's see. Boxwood shrubs. Ooh, Lantern of the Forest. Didn't even know I had that in here. But yeah, today we actually, since we're getting ready to head out and get Ashley Flake a mate or something like that, we actually need to work in town a little bit to earn some more money. And with that money, we can get more Pogobos. And there's also somebody new in town. So I will introduce you guys to her in just a minute. Let's go and check. Oops. Hi, Bubby. I'll give you a big hug. I think well, he's probably wondering about his own his own kind now. He's probably like, I love my mom and my family and all that. But he's probably beginning to have those, those questions, those thoughts that every young Pokemon eventually has about mates and, and other things like that in life. So... Probably about time to go find Ashley for somebody else to join join his his heart his family. There we go. Oh, beautiful. There's little creeper. Look at creeper. Oh, there's a little pigeon in here. I hope he's not bothering our our little guys. But I feel good having the gloom in here. I feel like the gloom is going to keep everybody safe. Ashley, isn't this so nice? Just wait till you have your own area. And I think I want to go get more alliums. Hi, gloom. I don't care if you're smelly. I'm going to give you a big hug. I'm going to give you a big hug. And Creeper and Oddish seem to be doing well. Good, good. All right, but yeah, we're going to work in town today. I'm going to plant this berry bush down by the river. Ashleaf! Oh my gosh! I think Ashleaf is uh, having some trouble getting used to his new size. Oh dear. All right, just going to plant that there so the Pidgey can have something to eat. Oh my goodness. Ashleaf, are you okay? Poor baby! And Flight's gonna evolve pretty soon, and I really want to evolve Tsunami, so there's a lot going on. But I'm gonna... Oh, well, Ashley, come on back out. There you go, Bubby. But I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new trainer in town! This is Kai! Hello, Kai! So she was just wandering through town. She wasn't gonna stay very long, but then her Snorlax fell asleep. And so Kai is stuck here with her passed out Snorlax. And she's pretty awesome to talk to because her Snorlax is constantly hungry. So whenever he does wake up, sometimes when they sleep so long, it's because they're really hungry. And so she's trying to gather up a ton of food to entice him. So now we can gather up a whole bunch of the different foods from all of those wild little gardens that you can get the awesome food items from. And we can bring them to her and she'll trade us coins for them, which is so cool. And she will also trade us coins if we bring her some of her Snorlax. Snorlax's favorite foods, which is lemon chicken, and she'll just straight up give us some amazing heavy balls if we give her some chocolate sprinkle cake or some epic bacon, which are both absolutely awesome, and I would love to make those one day, so I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, her Snorlax, if you come and talk with him, he's just sound asleep, sound asleep right here. So poor Kai, she's just, Snorlax, my Snorlax may seem like a lazy lump of chub, but I promise you, he's a fighting machine. You know, when he wakes up. So this is us. We don't know how long Kyle will be here. But poke, 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 poke. Might be a while. Her Snorlax is KO'd right now. Just snoozing. Aw, Ashley, are you getting a drink from the fountain? Oh, you're so cute. Meep. Good morning, Meep. Thank you. Oh, a strawberry seed. Meep, I didn't have that yet. I'm going to take it straight to my garden. Like right this second. All right, let's see. I'm going to put it upstairs even. Ashley, pop into the Pokeball so you don't hurt yourself. My goodness, but this is, this is so fun. There's just so much going on. All right, let's see. I'm going to add strawberries. There we go. Oh, and I can make more tea. All right, but let's get to helping the villagers a little bit. Um, let's harvest up all these. Is that, ooh, it's celery. I didn't know I had celery. So much stuff. Let's see if there's stuff we can trade. Ooh, I wonder... Oh, I don't think we can make or trade lemon chicken to her just yet. 
because I don't think we have enough, but we, we could trade her, I think, like, those we can trade to her. The chili peppers, I think we can trade to rice. So I'm going to take the chili peppers to rice. Um, she'll take scallions. And we'll have to see. I think she takes cabbage. We'll go, we'll go check that out. Celery and the berries can all go away. And I'm going to brew up some more delicious tea as soon as I put, let's see, some more oak wood in there. I really need to go and just get, we'll do a caving, caving day exploring for rock type Pokemon in the future. Wow, look at the size of that stand there. Get out of my garden. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't want you to attack me, ma'am. Oh, she's a big girl. Look at her. All right, I wonder what happens if we petal dance. Oh! Ashley! Ashley, if you are like OP now! Holy days! And it's almost night, actually, which means we can resume our Spinarak attacks. Alright, good morning, or good good evening, Kai, I mean. Um, yeah, look at that. So we've got some coins for cabbage. And that. Ooh, nice! Alright. A little bit of coinage. There we go. So that's actually going to help me get more. Do you want zucchini? No, she doesn't take zucchini. Thank you very much, Kai. It's very nice to meet you. I'm just going to come over here and... Ooh. Oh, it's a little execute. Exec execute. Okay, flight. I want to see if we can catch this one, okay? So... Oops. Well, it was a big one because we got three eggs, but that was not quite what I meant to do. There's another one and another Stantler. My goodness. A lot of execute out tonight. Let's try this one. Whoops. Flight, we're trying to catch it. So gently... Whoops. Okay, well, we've got more eggs at least. <gasps> Look at the baby Stantler! Oh, it's in a fight with the Execute. Oh, it's not a baby. It's just a tiny one. What about you? All right, let's see. It's a female again. It's so cute and small. Um, what happens if we do Feather Dance? The attack was decreased. What about Twister? Okay, it doesn't do much. What about Gust? Ooh, okay. Gust again! Alright, come on, Flight. Let's see if we can catch this little girl. She's so cute. Imagine letting her roam in an adorable little, like, forest area. Oh, she's adorable. Ooh, and she's smart, too. She really kicks some sand into Flight's eyes, so Flight's having some trouble. Alright, we have four Pokeballs left. Come on, little Stantler. You're so cute. Don't worry, I'll put you in like a beautiful little forest safari zone. Ah, she managed to get out. Okay, Flight, one gentle tackle. Ah, dang it, Flight! <laughs> oh well, Flight leveled up! Oh my goodness! Okay, so a psychic ability called Agility. The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster. Sharply boosts its speed stat. Um, hmm... You know what? I think we'll switch Feather Dance out for that. Oh, and still a Pidgeotto, not a Pidgeot. Noted. Hello, Grandma Majoy. Oh, thank you very much, Blissy. All right, let's heal our Pokemon. My goodness. Grandma Majoy, today is being quite interesting. I hear some Pokemon fighting in your yard. Hmm. Well, all right, let's gather up these cherries. We can do that much, at least. And then we'll have to see. Maybe we'll go gather up some apricorns. So we'll have to see if we can help Grandpa out with that. Let's see, and earn some more coins, because we need more Safari Nuts. Oh, Rise is talking about Grandma Joy's delicious, delicious cherry pie. There we go. Hmm, let's see, let's pop over here and pop over here. I love our little Oddish habitat. It's just so freaking cute. Oh, the Mr. Mime is fighting that haunter. Grandma Joy, thank you, Blissy. She gave us some more. Lizzie, you're so sweet. All right, let's see. Um, why am I always one cherry short? And actually, I know what we're gonna do. Let's go visit Mia. Ooh, there's a giant haunter. Flight, flight, get it. Oh, it's a big one. Come on, flight, we can do this. Curse will have no effect on us. We've got this. Ah, oh, I love how flight is just like you can't mess with me for like everything. Oh no, payback apparently can mess with us, but. No, no cursing affecting us. Shadow Ball is not affecting us. Come on, Flight. Almost there. Should we catch it? Not right now. There we go. 
Level 33 fight. That's fantastic. She is just on a roll. I'm so proud of her. Hello, Kai. I love how this, this Snorlax is just sleeping in the center of town. It's awesome. Hello, Meep. All right, let's see. Hmm. Oh, and there's a roaming Snorlax. I thought, nope, it was just the sand. Thought I saw a Snorlax belly. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Eridos, Eridos, you really didn't want to mess with us. Like, ooh. Wow, that was pretty intense. Okay. Wow, and we got string. Dang, that was cool. Okay. All right, and speaking of string, I think we're slowly getting enough that we can work on upgrading our backpack. So let's see. Let's come over here. And put that there, put that there. <gasps> one bound leather! So very, very slowly we're getting there. All right, I'm gonna put the bound leather in here. Wonderful, see? We're getting there, it's just taking a while. Now, I do think what we need to do is go talk to Mia, because I think Mia is actually looking for some mushrooms. So what we might do is go roam around. Hello, Mia, how are you? Seems like she's doing pretty well. But yeah, she's looking for some mushrooms. So let's go collect some mushrooms and uh, maybe some Paracel mushrooms. Oh, we do have an Australian Bulgel. She wants that. Yay! And then we're going to go out and... Oh, how are you doing today, Amethyst? Those were the days, weren't they, Amethyst? So let's go collect some mushrooms from Mia, I think. Hmm. Oh, hello, little Pikachu. So first off... Because we need to get a lot more... No, not those mushrooms. We need to get a lot more... Ugh, now I'm hungry. Oh yeah, and I think Rise... Ooh, and some tea. Mmm, I love tea. I think Rise will actually trade us for these uh, chili chili peppers. So let's go talk to him. And I heard that Timothy in the Pidgey tree is going to start trading because he needs help feeding his Pidgey soon. So we'll look into that. Hello, Rise. How are you? Oh, you will trade me. But if we turn... The chili into chili poppers or extreme chili, huh? Well, I'll put the I'll put the chili away and work on that. And actually, let me go pick the poke like the apricorns because I know the apricorns need plucked. It's so sad. This is the grave of Grandpop's old Pokemon. He just hasn't been in the mood to get a, a companion again, especially at his age. He decided. All right, let's go ahead and we'll help the guys out by picking all the apricorns in their apricorn garden. There we go. Because Grandpop does trade us pretty well for him, too. So, oh, there's a big old Snorlax up there. I wonder if he's eating the apricorns. I bet Snorlax would basically eat everything. Like, it would give everything a trial. Like, hmm. I think I'm going to put this rock in my mouth and nibble it. Oh, I wonder if there's a Snorlax out there who has, like, a, a sweet tooth for evolution rocks. So I wonder if he's just like, I'm just going to eat this, uh... This leaf stone, it tastes delicious. It would be kind of funny if a Snorlax ate a leaf stone and evolved by accident. I was like, hmm, this was unexpected, but delicious. For some reason, that cracks me up. Some reason, that just cracks me up. But actually, the apricorn farm usually helps us out quite a bit. Pardon me, Snorlax. I don't think we'll go up there. We'll, we'll respect his space, because he's a big old Snorlax. Eh, there we go. There we go. Let's go and say hello to Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa, how you doing? And now let's just trade all these. Oh, yeah, this will be perfect. And we can even go talk to Rise and see if Rise will trade us some of the rare Pokeballs. And then... Then we can resume our task. All right, let's do this. There we go. And I have some blue ones. I sure do. And some extra black ones as usual. My goodness. Look at the nice stack we've got. Two and a half stacks of stuff. Nice. All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little spinner rack. String! String flight! String! Even though it's a tiny thing. Sorry, little one. So sorry, but I needed that string. All right, let's talk with Rise. Hello, Rise. How are you? Um, anything that I want to grab from him? Fastball. Whoops. Uh, repeat ball. A repeat ball, I guess? Safari ball. I think he's going to not trade heavy balls anymore now that no, he's not. Um, let's grab one repeat ball, two repeat balls, just to see if that helps us with catching some of the Pokemon we're after. And then, ooh, ooh, it's a ghastly flight. Get it. Flight. Flight, get it. All right, we got this flight. We got this. 
Oh, so good, Flake. So good. Woohoo! Flight is constantly gaining levels. I'm so proud of Flight. All right, Mia, I'll come back with your mushrooms eventually. But for now, I just need some normal Pokeballs, please. Thank you. And then I'm going to grab two. That should be plenty. Yeah, this should this should be good. This should be good to get us started. Thank you, Mia. I will remember to collect mushrooms for you. Don't worry. But all right, I feel pretty good about what... Oh, there's the Kadabra again. I feel pretty good about what we have in terms of uh, being stocked up. Ooh, and there's our tanned leather getting closer to expanding our bag. And I think we are going to go and put our zucchini in here. And we're going to go explore over in those fields and see if we can find a new Chikorita so that we can have a companion for our absolutely awesome Ashleaf. So I think that's going to be our next goal. Um, and we're going to stop over at the Pokemon Ranger Station so we can drop all this stuff off. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully we'll be able to evolve Tsunami too because I promised him since he helped us catch so many Pokemon, which is totally unexpected, that we would evolve him next too. So I will see you guys next time. And let me know what you think of the big old chubby chubby Snorlax snoozing in the middle of our town. Hopefully we'll be able to feed him enough. So I'm really looking forward to that. Have a great day, guys. And I will see you guys next time as we do more Pokemon adventures. Bye-bye!